At first, the rogue star would make its way into the Oort cloud. At this point, it wouldn't affect us directly, but it would send massive chunks of space rock showering the solar system. About 170 meteors, comets, and asteroids would hit the Earth every day. That's 10 times more than what's bombarding our planet right now. Comets and meteors might not seem like a big deal since most of them are small and they often fall in unpopulated regions, but back in 1908 in Siberia, it only took one asteroid to obliterate 80,000 trees and blow out windows 60 kilometers away. If the same asteroid were to hit New York, the entire city would be in the impact zone. All that if just a single star, smaller than the sun, slightly made it just inside our solar system. What would a more massive star do? Well, if a star larger than our sun entered the Oort cloud, it would disrupt the orbital cycle for every planet it passed. Since there are such large distances within the solar system, this disruption would happen over the span of millions of years it would be an almost slow-motion chaos of debris waves. It might even set some planets on a collision course. And that's not the worst it could get. If the rogue star had other planets and moons following it, our solar system would turn into a galactic soup with stars and planets being pulled out of their orbits. Massive collisions would create a rippling effect, disrupting planetary orbits even more. Eventually, the Earth would be knocked out of its orbit too, if it wasn't already destroyed by meteor storms and the remnants of other planets. Not to sound too dramatic, but there are estimates that 40,000 stars have entered the Oort cloud at some point in the history of the solar system, but they all came here on just visiting trips. Chances that any of those rogue stars will ever make it past the Oort cloud are close to zero. Let's just hope that we'll never have to deal with anything like a black hole coming too close to the solar system. But that's a story for another What If.